Hey guys, I uh, know I haven't done a walkthrough in a while, uh, but we got a lot of a lot of changes here recently. Um, so without a lot of pump, let's go ahead and give it a walkthrough. All right. I start the videos about the same way, just about every time, um, just so you, you know you, you get the uh, the same feel every single time and you can see better change so here we are coming into the uh as we're going to call it our summer kitchen uh or playroom workroom whatever you want to call it look guys cows we actually have three baby cows out there that's been born uh in the last month or so cool this is the laundry room slash uh, office uh, we got sheetrock finally. We're gonna leave the beams exposed here at the top. I think it looks good. Um, toilet, I think we've mentioned that before, but super excited to have the sheetrock up finally. Uh, we just gotta get it painted. And that room would be done. Well, I'd have to have the electricians come in and finish uh, doing electrical stuff. Uh, I was trying to show a friend of mine the uh, backsplash and everything that is that is one seamless piece i believe there is no actual edge to this down here that is one one piece top and bottom so it's really cool all right as usual nothing's really done in this room but we use it as storage all right going to the kitchen all right, we got lots and lots of red. Got red on you. We got a ceiling for once. Yay, ceiling. Um, we have the cabinets mostly built. Uh, you can kind of see the frames underneath the cabinets. Uh, the, we have it covered up because we was painting the ceiling. Uh, we didn't want to get anything splashed on there. But uh, let me uncover something real quick. My sink. Real excited about the sink. It's huge. Um, so we're gonna have a sink there, and there's also a sink over here that is covered up. So that's uh, we're gonna have two sinks in here. Uh, appliances are gonna be here in a couple of days. Refrigerator goes there. Stove and then microwave. And then dishwashers over here. Uh, we're gonna have a bank of drawers, dishwasher, and then some tabletop, uh, a counter to put the garbage can, and then wine rack above there. All right, moving on back. You see sheetrock. Yay, sheetrock. Everything is lovely, clean. I'm loving it. The nest. We got ceilings in here also. Everything is stained, everything is put up. Uh, we just need to, once we get the towel down, we can come in and finish putting the trim in. And then of course, uh, finish the cabinets and plumbing and all that fun stuff, so. All right, this is gonna be the nursery. It's a nice pink color. Um, I, I'm, I'm digging the color. It's actually, a, uh, uh, my mom made the color up, pretty much taking a purple we had, something else that was really, really dark and it started combining uh, some white to it. So it turned out really good. And it complements these two rooms, complement each other really well. So we have a, 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 a blue in here also, a blue green. It's real pretty, this can be Elizabeth's room. There's our cabinet, big old huge cabinet. Uh, we're gonna do this, come back with a real wide band like from here to here, you know, about about a three or so foot band all the way on this wall with a yellow chalk paint. The idea is that they can come in and do the chalking. Um, I've already noticed that this paint here is very uh, resilient to, um, it's very resilient to marks and stuff. I actually splashed some uh, ceiling paint on it earlier and I was able to wipe it completely out. Completely up, so that was really good. It's gonna be great for a kids, kids room. 
All right, master bedroom. This floor, besides being dirty, uh, the last time we stained it, the second coat of stain, something was wrong with it. It's just jacked it all up. Uh, so we're gonna have to sand it back down. Uh, luckily, we don't have to go all the way down. We're gonna have to sand it again and then restain it. Um, so it kind of sucks, but what can you do? Because we can't leave it like this. It's just splotchy and uneven. But that, ignore the microwave, that looks fantastic. I love this, the uh, the wood sheath on it. Um, we got the bookshelves rebuilt. Got a little bit more work on there to do. Of course, naturally, sheetrock is up. And then you get a good picture of the uh, the wood. We got a little bit of one more piece to put over here and also the floor. There's one more piece of flooring to put down on both sides. We've got a special cut that and get it fitted. All right, into the bathroom. Yay, ceiling. We got a couple more pieces to finish up in here. But here's the kind of the, the big deal. Check that out. It's not completely done yet. He has to come back and do the grout. Uh, some things I'm not happy with, but there's a lot of things I'm very happy with. Um, I'm digging the pebbles. But it ha still has to be grouted around, uh, so it's not quite so uh, bad. So the grout will fill those cracks a lot better. Uh, and of course, I'll have the grout here. And then there's gonna be a glass wall and then a glass door. We gotta get those guys to come out and do their part once they get done with the grout job. And then, ceiling, sheetrock. This has to be painted. This will be painted the same color as the bedroom. And the towel, you know, this, same, this towel here goes all through here. So, that's uh, that's the long and short, guys. It's a very quick walkthrough. Uh, at least for me, it's a quick walkthrough. Um, you know, naturally, I can't help but start decorating. All right, you got me some Star Wars love going on. It's a little Bluetooth speaker. So, <laughs> all right, guys. Um, once I get a little more work done, I'll uh, create another video. All right, peace.